streaming. My name is Peter Spragata. I am currently the Vice President of Product Management here at Itential. Now, Itential is actually bringing a whole portfolio of products to market to address the end-to-end -end automation needs of enterprises. And when we think about network automation, one of the things that we think a lot about is that we're starting to see the convergence in some organizations of both network automation and cloud automation, and how do they kind of come together? And how do those worlds start to work together to ultimately realize an end-to-end -end workflow? So we're gonna talk a bit about that, but it's gonna be very heavily network slanted uh, for obvious reasons. Within the iTential portfolio, um, we essentially deliver three key elements. First is the iTential automation platform, and that focuses on really the, the high, the, uh, the, the high-level picture, right? The, the orchestration of how we perform automation. We're going to dive into Gateway, which is an element of our portfolio that focuses on how we bring a lot of existing automation into the orchestration fold. So we're going to make a very interesting delineation here, I think, between orchestration and automation as we go through this. And then last but certainly not least, we're going to talk about what are we doing specifically in the network space that makes us a network automation company? And, and where are we making those current investments and what are the things that we're looking at doing? In order to get started though, we really need to start thinking about what are organizations facing today? You know, I think long gone are the days when, you know, a network consisted of routers and switches and I logged into them and I made changes to them. That no longer is today's heterogeneous hybrid network infrastructure that you find deployed at enterprises. Today, the network is not only those devices, but it's also the need to operationalize and operationalize through automation, Wi-Fi devices, SASE devices, SD-WAN, um, cloud infrastructure. All of these are starting to, to come into the fold and they're all being saddled on network operations teams to figure out how you start to make sense of all of this because they're all paramount to building infrastructure in support of companies' applications. The struggle is, is how do I deal with this problem? You know, I got my hands full just trying to figure out how to take a predominantly CLI-driven device that has no semblance of an API on it and try and automate that, let alone now I got to pick up and I got to figure out how to automate an infrastructure that, yes, it's got APIs, and that's fantastic, but I got to go through this controller. Or actually, I've got other elements that, that um, I want to automate, and I'm going to go direct to them. How do I bring all this together into one single workflow? And how do I do that in a way that makes it accessible to my organization? Because I think we can all agree on one thing. We all may have different opinions about how automation should or could work. But I think we can all agree that if automation isn't made accessible to everyone from the senior, the most senior of senior engineers, all the way down to the most junior of junior engineers, if we don't make this accessible, then automation projects are doomed to fail, at least at scale. So let's talk a little bit about what is the reality of the change management process. I know Tom has done this in the past. I'm certain he has made requests for a network change. Right? And he's had to use different tools, maybe depending on what company he's at, to go about doing this. Right? He may initiate a change from Slack or ServiceNow, or maybe it's an email. In some cases, maybe it's just calling the right person. And that sets in motion a whole series of events. And we believe this is where network automation has to begin, is right here. Over the series of, of steps, what happens is we've got different individuals in the organization start to spin up tasks. You can think of it almost like a relay race to a degree, right? Think about you know track and field, right? Passing the baton, moving from one group to the next, one individual to the next to perform a series of checks, to perform a series of data analysis and collection. All of this has to happen before we can actually get to a, doing a deployment. Once that deployment is complete, we got a whole series of things that have to happen on the backside. We got to check and make sure the network is normalized and is still working. We have to be able to update back office systems. In a lot of respects, I lay this out as it's very similar to the game of telephone, if you all remember that, right? We all played this back in, in kindergarten, first grade, whatever the case. And if you think about how that game worked, right? It started with somebody whispering the message into the next person's ear. And then they repeated the, the message to the next and the next and the next. And then we went down through the line. 
And what we learned when we got to the end of that game of telephone is the last person to get the message as they said it out loud, we realized, wow, that message really changed from the start to the end. In some cases, the ending message looks nothing like the beginning of the message. In a lot of respects, this is what enterprises are dealing with today in their network automation change request process, right? Because we're passing things from person to person and team to team, subtle changes work their way into that, that message. And suddenly what gets built at the end of that change pipeline is not what was originally requested. And now we got to go back and we got to fix that problem. And the only way to solve that is we've got to start to take network automation all the way to the beginning and carry it all the way through to the end. So as I said, we've got a whole series of products that are focused on doing this. I've talked a bit about the Autential Automation Platform. I've talked a little bit about the Automation Gateway. And, and really what its focal point is, is all about how we bring API capabilities to a lot of the prevailing frameworks and tooling in place today that are designed to be able to deliver to um, the action of automation. I haven't touched as much on the pre-built collections, and I think this is a real key one. Our pre-built collections is an investment Itential is making to deliver a lot of the components necessary to start automating. It does me no good to give you a platform if you've got to build everything from scratch. If I can deliver to you, if you will, a catalog of pre-built workflows that either A, you can use directly, doing a software upgrade um, as an example, backing up a dice config as an example, or a customer can use it and they can modify it and they can help and, and use it as the basis for what they use moving forward. It all drives us to the cyclical nature of network automation. It always starts with design. I have to be able to design my automation. The quick story I'll tell you here is think about any given network meeting. And you sit down with a bunch of network engineers and you're sitting in a conference room around a table and we'd all start by designing a change. And in one by one, we all go to a whiteboard and we add a piece to the whiteboard. The database administrator adds one, the IPAM administrator adds one, the inventory administrator adds one, the network engineer adds a bunch of things. And as we come out of that, we've got this wonderful flow that describes how we need to design the change, what configuration we need to make in, in check, how we validate it, and then based on what we see, how we remediate it. What we're doing with Itential is we're taking that concept, that right whiteboard from your conference room, and we've built it into our product so that you can do it and you can essentially virtualize that whiteboard. So each team brings their piece and places it onto that canvas. And what we walk away from is an end-to-end -end workflow. So I'll start to leave you with this final thought. Um, we don't want, ever want you to take our word for it. Itential is an on-prem product, but it's also available in the cloud. For anyone who's out there, feel free to jump to itential.com slash getting started and experience everything that we have to say uh, for yourself. Get started building automations, get started building workflows, and get started automating your network from inception to completion.